Welcome to Nightline for Friday, May 7, 2021. I am Gabriel Lodi with your school news and announcements for Jose Marti Math 6 through 12 Academy. As testing season continues, all students should check their school email each day. Ms. Andrews has sent emails to students with the details about the upcoming test schedule. Read your email and make sure that you know the details about your testing schedule. The yearbook is available for pre-order for $40. Pre-purchase your copy at yearbookforever.com. There's a lot going on in the world. The topic for Planet Report today is Space Launch Debris. Reuters is reporting that most debris from a large Chinese rocket expected to plunge back through the atmosphere this weekend will be burnt up on re-entry and is highly unlikely to cause any harm. The U.S. military said on Wednesday what, it, what called an uncontrolled re-entry was being tracked by the U.S. Space Command. The Long March 5B rocket blasted off from China's Hainan Island on April 29th, carrying the unnamed Tain model module, which contains what will become a living quarters on a permanent Chinese space station. The location of the rocket's descent on Earth's atmosphere as it falls back from space cannot be pinpointed until within hours of its re-entry, which is projected to occur around May 8th, according to the U.S. Space Command. There's a chance that pieces of the rocket could come down over land such as in May 2020, when pieces from another Chinese Long March 5B rocket rained down on the Ivory Coast, damaging several buildings. Potentially dangerous debris would likely escape incineration after streaking through the atmosphere at hypersonic speed, but in all likelihood would fall into the sea given that 70% of the ocean, the world is covered by ocean. The Tahi launch was first of 11 missions needed to complete the Chinese space station. That's all for Planet Report. Language Arts Homework Help is available every Thursday from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The link can be found on the school website under the Students tab. Please support Silver Lining, a group of eight high school students working to resolve mental health issues as a part of the Aspen Challenge. Follow them at, at Silver Lining Gem JMMA on Instagram, and most importantly, use their website to access mental health resources and complete self-care challenges to improve your wellness. In the end, it's all about you because you can be your own silver lining. If you participate, your name will be put into a draw for monthly prizes. Before we go, let's check out the conditions outside. Here's your nightline weather. It's 77 degrees with sunny skies and 89% humidity as we begin the day. High temperatures will be in the high 80s today. The high is projected to be 89 with mostly sunny skies. Cloud cover returns around lunchtime today and scattered thunderstorms are expected in the early afternoon through 8 p.m. The overnight low is expected to be 73. Winds will be becoming mostly from the west, northwest, with gusts up to 10 miles per hour. Now for your three-day look ahead. Saturday is expected to be partly cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 75.23% chance of rain. Sunday with a high of 85 and an overnight low of 77. Conditions continue unchanged Monday with a high of 87 and a low of 77. That's all for your nightline weather. That's it for us today. We'll see you next time.